from this okay. Start again. to this. In the span of four days, Sarah Kempinska has an autoimmune condition called GPA, which makes breathing difficult. Two weeks before my wedding, I had a routine surgery to widen my airway, and it was expected to be a quick recovery, but unfortunately, things didn't quite go as planned. She immediately called her sister Anna, who is an emergency physician at London's Children's Hospital. So the body reacted wrong, and uh, I ended up being put into a medically induced coma. As a medical professional, you know all about the medicine side of things and you're usually in control of what's going on, but it's a whole different ballgame to be a family member. Four days before her wedding, she awoke from the coma. And I couldn't walk at that time, so I came out of the coma and uh, I would walk about five or ten steps with a walker, feel incredibly sick and weak and have to sit down and so the nurses were amazing and, and the uh, physiotherapists as well. They would walk with me and just sort of take their time, but um, I think they really made it their goal to get me to the wedding. While family members helped finish the planning of the big day, which was two years in the making, she was able to marry the man of her dreams. I think adrenaline really helped, but uh, my dad was there to support me and my brother was sort of on the sidelines. He wanted it to be just me and my dad walking down and having that special father-daughter moment that we wanted for so long. Wedding day was uh, such a joyous day. It was, I say to Sarah, it's one of the happiest days of my life. Um, I think we were all so exhausted from what had happened over the past 10 days, so many happy tears just to see them get married and support each other and have her smile. Three months later, Sarah is now back to work full time and thanking the physicians at LHSC who helped her. She says she's now working with doctors to begin family planning. Brent Lale, CTV News.